I'd like to show you something very unusual. Inside this jar is a giant frog, Latin name Trichobotrachus robustus. It goes by a variety of interesting common names. Hairy frog, horror frog, wolverine frog. And it has all these strange names because it has some very unusual characteristics. Three that I'd like to show you today. First things first, take a close look at the hips of this frog. You can see that they're a little hairy. These are strands of skin that contain blood vessels. Frogs and other amphibians can absorb oxygen through their skin while they're underwater. So horror frogs have evolved these hairy hips to increase the surface area of their skin so they can absorb more oxygen from the water. Let's zoom back out and I'll have to take this guy out of the jar. Here he is right here. We're gonna take an extremely close look at this area behind its front thumbs. It's kind of like a bunch of ridges or spines that are on the back of the frog's thumb. And these have a very strange purpose. So when frogs mate with each other, they enter um, a position known as amplexus. To get a more firm grip on the female frog, a lot of the male frogs have evolved some sort of spike or hard patch on the back of their thumbs that they can jam into the female when they're in that amplexus position. The cool thing about these is recently scientists have found that there's a gland inside the frog's hand that rests just behind those spikes. That gland produces pheromones that are secreted through pores on the spikes that the male frog injects directly into the female. Basically, here's the situation. The male frog hops on back of the female frog, jams its spikes in, and then injects the female frog with pheromones so that, quite honestly, she's more willing to mate with him. Terrifying. <laughs> but I think the final trait we're gonna talk about really takes the cake. And for this, we need to look at the frog's back foot. Here's what it looks like on the wide camera. We're gonna take a very close look at the toes. You see that toe on the right? That thing that's sticking out that looks like a claw? This is actually a bone. It's one of the frog's toe bones. This is how it gets that nickname, Wolverine Frog. When these frogs are under attack or feel threatened in any sort of way, they will force their toe bones through the tips of their toes which form pseudo claws. It's almost exactly like Wolverine, the superhero. When they're threatened, they yeah, force their toe bones through their toes. This forms little claws that they can then use to protect themselves. And that's how the horror frog gets its name. Let me know what you'd like to see next.